This video will explain how to deal with missing values in R. One common problem you will definitely encounter when working with real-world data is the presence of missing values. In R, missing values are represented by an A. That is, only an A is recognized by R as a missing value. When a missing value is present, it affects mathematical computations and thus you have to deal with it in order to get the correct information. Let's continue to use the supply orders example. Suppose that the staff forgot to write down the value of quantity for the order of burgers on March 4th. Recall that in this original data set, 100 burgers were ordered on March 4th. Now imagine that the value, this value 100 is missing. That is instead of 100, we have an A in this data set. Now let's say you want to compute the monthly total quantity ordered, and you will use this code in R to do this. As you can see in the output, because of the missing value on March 4th, the total month variable has a value of an A. So this is total month variable, and it has the value an A for the value for the month of March. It is as if the other three observations for the month of March, uh, let's say the order of plates on March 2nd, the order of buns on March 16th, and the order of forks on March 24th, do not matter or exist. So the question is, how do you tell R to ignore a missing value and continue with the computation based on available data? It turns out that the solution is easy. What you need to do is to add the na.rm equals true option to the sum function after the variable and comma. This uh, na.rm equals true option means that it is true that the missing value na be removed in computation. So now when we run the updated code, the output shows that the quantity ordered in March is 190 based on all available data. This solution can be applied to many other functions you used, such as mean, max, and so on. Now, you may naturally ask how you can find out how many observations are missing and for which variables. To answer this question, you can apply the summary command to the same data set to compute summary statistics. As shown in this output, the summary function computes the frequency count for the item variable, but a series of statistics for the quantitative variables, quantity, month, and day. You may notice that at the bottom of the output for quantity, is an A, which means that the variable has one observation and it uh, shows one, and uh, which means that the, um, that the variable has one observation being an A, which is missing. Also note that there is no missing values for other variables shown. To take things one step further, how do you create a data set of no missing values? There are several different ways to do this. If you know only one variable has missing values, like in the supply order data, then you can combine filter function with the exclamation mark is dot an A. So exclamation mark is dot an A function applied to the quantity and A variable. This function returns a true 
or false value for each observation being missing or not missing. Since we have exclamation mark, which means not, then the exclamation mark is dot and a gives the opposite values, that is true for not missing and false for missing. So you can use this line of code to get non-missing observations. So in this case, the March 4th observation is dropped. Now, once again, you, if you want to save this output as a separate data set, you can do this by using the assignment symbol. And then we have this new data set with, uh, from which the missing observation is removed. Now, if you have missing values in multiple variables, you can list them one by one in the filter function. This, however, is cumbersome when you have many variables. Another command you can apply to the whole data set is na.amid, which deletes all missing values from the data set. And um, well, let's say just uh, that we have two missing values now, right? And um, we'll create this new data set with two missing values. Okay. So now we have two missing values. And so now we would like to remove all missing values by using uh, this function, na.init, which deletes all missing values from the data set. And once again, uh, if you want to save this output to a new data set, to a separate data set, you can use the assignment symbol and you can create a name for the new data set. So let's first remove all missing values by using na.init. And if we run this, you see uh, two observations that had missing values for the quantity na1 are, did, are removed. And now we can create this new data set that doesn't have any missing values. So here we have only and this is I need to change this to this. So we have this new data set that doesn't have any missing values. <laughs> 